think you were there. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> we're in Mexico. We have just arrived in Cabo. We are at Pueblo Bonito Resort and we are playing Quivira Golf Club today. And uh, this is uh, one of the coolest layouts you guys are ever gonna see. We're gonna play six hole today. Six holes, we're gonna start with number one. That's facing right out to the ocean. And then, yeah, you're gonna see some really cool halfway houses or pit stops during the round. Yep. And hopefully me beating Hannah once again. We're gonna show you guys also <laughs> a little bit of the resort and some of the other activities that you can do along the way. But our main focus is definitely going to be two holes, which are just absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, so let's do it. All right, first hole, what we got? We have a beast of a par four here going straight into the wind. I believe it's 428 from these tees back here. I'm bumping up a little bit. We'll be back here with Fred, but this is such a beautiful hole. Really great way to start the round. All right, so the wind is actually more right to left than into, and you got death to the left. So I'm gonna try to hit a low fade up against the wind, and I think it's better to miss it right than left here. So see if we can do that. Be easy to it went. Did not fade, it was pretty straight shot. Uh -oh. I sh no, it should be fine. Should be alright. Okay. You gonna have a similar game plan here? Yeah, except I'm actually gonna do it. Keep it super safe. Oh, okay, okay. Alright. <laughs> Going way out to the right. It's definitely out to the right. Hopefully it doesn't reach that bunker. I don't think that's reachable for me. Yeah, good yep. shot. Well done. All right, what you got? 177. Going right to left, but I think it's hurting. Yeah, I mean, this is a tough shot here right off the bat. I have to start it out to the right, so it's definitely going to hurt it. So what are you going to hit? Three hybrid? I got three hybrid, but I'm yeah. going to choke down on it because that's too much. Ooh, that better get down. Sit. <laughs> Straight at it, but that better get Where down. Where did the wind go? <laughs> Okay. Played a little bit of a draw and it went like it downwind. It might be long like I was yesterday. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I have a nipper in the bag. So <laughs> yesterday, we're going to show you the shot you hit <laughs> yesterday here in this clip. Yeah. It was absolutely insane. So you might need that again. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I got, according to the Bushnell, 147 meters. And uh, I was never worried. Yeah, definitely not. That's death over there. Rocks and sand. 147. It's this is definitely going to play a little bit more into the wind. I'm going to hit like a little punch seven out to the right. Hannah's in trouble here, so I think par would be a good score. I'm going to go right edge of the green, low, low draw. Hopefully kind of chase all the way back there. That could be really good. Okay. That could be really good right there. Oh, a little long. No! No nip on that one today. I had a similar putt yesterday and it breaks a little bit more left than you think. And the wind is pushing it left too, so I think this is a couple of feet to the right of the hole. Oh, go! That was it, but now I got a nerve next time. Alright, big putt for Hannah already on the first here. Playing enough break. Oh, it didn't come back. How? Oh. How? I thought that was going right. to snap. That was a good roll. It's not every day you can have a par putt to go one up on the first, so. I still not think every this day is you turn have a the first left. hole with a bogey either. All right. <laughs> Damn, it's going to be a tough day. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. All right, bummer. All right, we just finished uh, the first five holes and now we're heading up literally a mountain to hole number six and probably the coolest comfort station uh, with the best view that you've ever seen. It's so cool and you can literally watch for whales while you eat your lunch. Let's head up. All right, we have arrived. This is going to be, well, this is something special. We were here yesterday. Yep. Have a look at this view. Hello. Oh. Hola. Oh, Hola. wow. You better not be scared of heights because it's quite far down there. 
That is incredible. So all the way over there is the resort we're staying at. Let's see if I can zoom in. All the way over there. And all the way over there is our next tea box. That's the next tea box. So you guys don't want to miss what's coming there because that's an epic offal. Let's just say that's one of the featured holes. That's going to be one of the featured holes. The next featured hole. Okay, what do we got? Can, do you have like sparkling lemonade? Mm -hmm. Can I do one of those? Do you want one of those too? Yeah. Two of those, please. What you got in there? Sandwich. Oh, it's like a chicken nugget sandwich. Ooh, chicken yes. nugget sandwich. What's in the next one? More sandwich. More sandwiches. Oh, these are shrimp, and then there's little tacos, it looks like. Nice. So if you play around the golf here, then you get all these drinks for free. Mm -hmm. They can make whatever drink you want there, and then you got a cooler full of... We got beer, sodas, everything. So uh, you can have a good time up here, that's Pretty for sure. Good, this is a cool walk right here. Wow. Don't fall though, I'm telling you. There is no railing or anything, so you might just tumble down here. <laughs> All right, so down there is the green. Mm -hmm. This is a par four though. The ferry is all the way up here to the right, but we didn't come here to lay up, right? So I'm gonna shoot it with the bushnell here to see exactly how far it plays. So it says it plays 250 meters to the green, but uh, 20 meters downhill. So 230 straight into a wind here. So I'm gonna have to absolutely smash this driver, I believe. And obviously the miss is right, left, you're probably never going to see that golf ball again. So the shot is a slightly lower fade because uh, maybe the wind is not going to fade it as much. But yeah, this is still going to have to be absolutely hammered, I think. All right, let's see what we can do. It's right where we want it. Oh, go all the way, ball. Come on. Carry the hill. I have no idea, but I think it's good. We'll see. Oh, that was hit good though. <laughs> All right, so we walked up here from my tee box up to Hannah's tee box. This is a challenge. I know it's a little bit into the sun here, but the green is down there or the fairway is over there. Where are you going to go? I'm going out to the right. You're going out to the right? Yep. Okay. I've been told I'm supposed to aim at the foundation, right? That is correct. Okay. So that is a foundation of a $40 million lot, I guess? Yep. I think they told us that yesterday. Somebody's about to have the coolest house ever. Oh my gosh. And it's going to be featured in probably every yep. Instagram video from this golf course. All right, let's see a good one here. I think okay. you're going to go pretty much just to the left side of that foundation. It's a pretty good shot. Is it going to kick down for me? Yeah, it should be sure good. There is. Yeah, well done. Okay. So while we have this unbelievable view, earlier this morning we were on a whale watching tour or a boat trip and we actually saw whales, which was nuts. I've never seen a whale before. It was absolutely incredible, majestic, whatever you want to call it. If you want to see whales here, the season is kind of mid-December to March. So if you come during that uh, time period, you're going to likely see a whale. I have been losing my mind because I keep seeing watermelons everywhere and now I finally found some that are on the vine. I thought people were They're just leaving. They're actually growing here. Yeah, yeah, I thought people were just leaving watermelons on the ground, but that is connected to the earth. Sure is. That's a big boy over That's there. That's cool. Should we bring one home? Yeah. Yeah. Pop that bad boy over. All right. On another note, look at this fairway. We teed off from all the way back there. Fairway going right on this cliff here. And the green is down there where I unfortunately can't see my ball. So it might be in the hole. We'll see. All right. What you got left? 69. Playing. Nice. Playing. Huh? 61. 69 playing 61. I have a 60 degree All right. This is, a, this is a shot. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go long, huh? This is something. <laughs> Where'd it go? Where is it? It just stopped. Oh, you hit it short. Yeah. What the oh, heck? Oh, no. Okay. So Hannah's actually did roll out on the green. Not too bad. Still no sign of Fred's ball. The ball has been located. 
In the bunker there, I take it. It's not too bad. Don't want to go long, but you don't want to leave it short either, so. Go, 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 go. Go! Ah, not too bad. All right, what are you thinking? I think it's gonna move quite a bit. Yeah, to the right? To the left. To the left? Oh. Not really, I didn't really see that. Good <laughs> <read>. <laughs> All right, tap it in. Right, good part. Get out of here with my par. Just to get a two up lead here. And a cool memory. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. There's some meat left on there. Oh, that, that would have been cool. That would have been a great three. Now, look at the wind. <laughs> now it's uh, still a little cold. There you go. All right, the next hole, par three seven. Here's the tee box. And over here is the green. <laughs> what a golf ball. And it's gonna be a beast today. 183 meters but playing 167 but it's probably 20 at least 20 meters into the wind too so I'm guessing 185 almost 190 shot is is not a bad guess so I'm gonna hit four iron here from 160 meters which is normally a seven that is perfection actually be right I can't see it, but I was... Oh, really? That was as good as I can hit it. Absolutely <laughs> perfect. You're three feet away from the hole. Am I actually? Yeah. No way. You're literally three feet past the hole. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Look. 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 <laughs> Am I that? All right. Well, pressure yeah. on, girl. You're one down. About to maybe. Go to two if you don't stuff it. What and you got? The wind started blowing. Yeah, so yeah. I have 191. It says it's playing 172, but I don't know if you guys can see the wind is absolutely howling into us. I played it 30 more meters, it's so 33 be yards. 200, I think. Yeah, I mean. Yesterday I hit a six hybrid. I think I'm gonna probably hit a three hybrid. Three hybrid. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Really good looking shot. The Come wind is gonna on. push that back. Be the right club. I think that's pretty good. I think it might be okay. All right, you played a lot of cool par threes. Where, where do you rank this one right here? This is very, very high up. Actually. Very high. Like the color of this water down here. Yeah, I mean, look at this color. It looks like you're in the Caribbean. Yeah. It's just absolutely gorgeous. This you can play golf right next to it. Definitely. And the coolness of this course, like it's also just a really good challenge. So it's not just views, you know? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Especially you, a big challenge here being two down. <laughs> <laughs> what a shot. That is an absolute dart. Hannah is also on the green, but a little short. I <laughs> My mean, shot was good too. Yeah, it's unbelievable. But that is just career shot for Fred right there. Wow, let's see if I can make that one. Not a cool view of this golf hole. Huh? Absolutely nuts. Tea box all the way back there. Wow. Okay. All right, Hannah with a big lag putt here. It's gonna go here. up the ridge and it's gonna move towards the ocean. Pretty significant. Oh, <laughs> took a little bounce there, still should be Set. pretty good. Yeah, very good. Well done. Well, not so bad. Took a little bounce there, but it's fine. All right, so this would be one of the more memorable Twos. You kind of have a, a thing. I have birdied hole number seven at Pebble every time I played it. So uh, let's add one to the collection. It should go a little bit right. That's a little bit too much. All right, that should be good. Oh man, I thought that was perfect. Those are not too good parts, I tell you that. Oh. Take my time on that. Whoa, okay, we're in. 
<laughs> this is to not go too down, huh? This is a big putt. Stones, well done. Really, really good. Is there a spider? I left it there for you. Double bogey on the next for Hannah for sure. Okay, hi, I'm Brian McCallan. I do golf public relations for the Los Cabos Tourism Board. We are standing at Kilometer Zero. This is the actual place where the Sea of Cortez meets the Pacific Ocean. To mark this spot is El Faro Viejo, the old lighthouse. This is the oldest standing structure in Los Cabos. It was built in 1905. Every golfer who swings by here has to pay this some respect. All right, this is the next featured hole, hole number eight. Absolutely straight into the wind, uh, par four. We're gonna have to hit a really low, low drive here. So I was able to hit a pretty cool thing on the last one with a four iron. So we're gonna try to do the same here. That's money. That is perfect. Woo! It's the uh, hardest thing playing wind golf is putting and keeping your balance on driver. Take that. Okay. I have 144 meters left. Obviously, again, straight into the wind, so it's probably playing closer to 175, maybe 20, almost 30 meter wind. Yeah, one for I'm gonna chip a little six. I think I need five. 145 meters, five iron. Low draw up to the hill to the right and just, it's gonna roll all the way onto the green. That's the plan. Oh gosh, sit. Hit it too hard, sit, sit. All right, not really sure. One, five, two. Playing 0% up, but, and I would rather be long. So I think I'm gonna play at 175. This is a little lower one. Little five so hybrid it's a five one. hybrid. Right, maybe it kicks down. Go, come on. Go. Yes. That could be like foot. Oh my god! Did I go in? What? I think you went in. <laughs> what? I honestly think you went in. Did it actually? Oh, that's I can't see it. I can't see it. We have to keep it running. Track. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. Let me see. No, no, no. I think it's in the freaking hole. Literally, it's not there. It's, it's not there. No, wait, wait. Get the club in. Come on. Let's oh my it. god. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. We have Imagine to... if we go to a playoff hole and I crush you like that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What? Dude, that's in the hole. I Is did, it I actually? I don't see a ball. You honestly hold the freaking firewood. <laughs> no, a five hybrid. Five hybrid. Wow. Right, we're keeping it running. It <laughs> Run! If it's in a sprinkler, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> It's in there. No, it's, it's not in the there. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, wow. Winner, champion. This is a Bridgestone ball. You can yeah. see my signature lines. Thank you, Bridgestone. For what the heck? Kavira oh, <laughs> Los Cabos, I love you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh. What the heck? My heart's pounding. <laughs> Brian's my witness. Congratulations. Thank you. So, oh, what the, hell the heck? Shot a two on a hole like this? Oh my God. Are that you was... kidding me? Jeez. He called it. He goes, I think it's in the hole. How did you see? I don't. Oh my God. I don't know. That is it just went up here and landed so soft. And I thought it would be close, but I didn't think it was going to go in. Oh, my oh, God. Eagle, get out of town. <laughs> All right. So while Hannah picking up her ball in the hole here, I'm. Uh, right here in two, which is not too bad, but it's tough competition here. So I guess uh, I'll have to hold this. All right, not bad. 
to only lose by two on one of the toughest par fours on this uh, course. All right. Woo. All right. Gosh. Man, I just missed two bird opportunities, you know, like I should probably have made birdie both seven or six, seven, and then that. So no better uh, place to celebrate the hole out for Eagle than the actual halfway south house. The other uh, place we're at is just a comfort station in between the halfway house and the first tee. Okay, what do we got today? We got a mini burger and shrimp fried tacos <laughs> on the menu. So we're getting that for sure. And what drink do you want? Lemonade. She wants a sparkling lemonade. Okay, that's her celebration drink. We go with that. <laughs> How is it? The food here just, it's so good. It's my favorite. They all these like halfway houses and like comfort stations, but this is a whole meal. Like, yeah, I mean, it's a, food. and this is all inclusive when you yep. come here and play. So uh, it's a pretty good gig. You can have a lot of drinks, a lot of good food, and then Make it two on a par four. <laughs> so there's one of the famous cruise ships. It's pretty cool, you can try to hit it from the golf course. No, I'm just kidding, but it goes right by the golf course. I am one down, but I do feel good about it. All I have to do here is try to reach the 635 yard par five and two. So let's see if I can do that. <laughs> so we're pretty much standing on top of the world here. 635 yard par five, going straight, straight to the right then left all the way down to the beach down there. So straight downhill, straight downwind. This is probably gonna be the longest drive of the year here, hopefully. And I'm gonna try to cut the right corner just a little bit. I should be absolutely perfect there. Yeah, be as good as you look. This is a long par five. Hopefully being downhill and downwind is gonna help me out. I'm just gonna kick it out to the left and hope that I get some good bounces. I think that is gonna be really good. This could have been a 500 yard drive if I hit it two yards further. But Fred, I think, has rolled all the way down there. So now I'm playing catch up. It's about 210 yards to that fat little chunk of grass down there. So I'm gonna hit a five wood. Maybe it rolls out a little. Should have a little wedge in. Should be really good. Thanks. Yeah, good. So I know you can't really see how slope it is here, but Hannah was back there, but my ball rolled all the way down this hill. This <laughs> ended up being, I don't know how far that drive is, but it could be 400 yards. We're at 200 meters, so 220 yards left, which means that I hit this drive over 400 yards. You can, you can see the slope here, obviously. I wish I could just say that I'm that deep, but I'm not, but I was this time. <laughs> to 20, playing down, it's actually 188 meters. I'm probably gonna have to hit a, like a trap seven. I'll try to hit like a push little stronger push draw to get it back there, but I think that's the club. Oh, what a shot that is. Look, just look. Whoa. <laughs> we come around the corner and Fred's like, wait a minute, is that in the hole? Like, what do you mean? He just had to do it. Fuck. Had to do it to me. If you guys have seen the other videos on our channel, this is not the not uncommon for Fred to give me like sass and just he can't let me have it. 133. Got a lot of wind going this way. I think it's still helping though. So it's down. I'm going to hit a small 9. No. Give me a kick. Come on. Am I gonna see it show up? <laughs> I don't know, might be stuck up there. That is a foot, look at that view right there. My gosh. Uh, duck view. Yeah. All right, this, 
This is uh, some golf, people. There's some golf. <laughs> Brian, what is this doing? What are we thinking? I'm calling in my caddy who okay, plays yeah, here yeah. all the time. Yep, off, yeah, yep. Yeah. Give me, give me the line. Brian has not led me astray yet. He helped me out a few times yesterday. I got right edge. Okay. Ball on okay. The right. I like that. Yep. No, oh. I pulled it. No. Ah, that is a disappointing par for your girl. Dang it. All right. So that puts our match at all square or one, I'm one down? You're one down. I'm one down. Okay. <laughs> we got work to do. The final featured hold, hole number 14, par three. Look at that. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. You have ocean, rocks, and the tiniest little green. And that flag is all the way up on the left side of the green, which is pretty much impossible to hit, especially in this wind. But uh, we might be the first ones the way this round is going. So uh, 123 meters straight downwind. I'm going to hit maybe a 100, 100 meter shot. And I'm going to try to hit it a little bit left of the pin and have the hill kind of bring it down. That could be really good. It could, be good. It could also be too much left. <laughs> oh no, there it is! Oh, it ran right by the hole and it's on the right side of the green, which is fine. <laughs> it's fine. This is 110 yards. I'm a little chilly, so <laughs> try to get loose. Um, I'm just gonna go slightly left of it. You need a two. I need a one to crush you. That would be nice. I'm gonna go just slightly left of it. Fingers crossed. Come on. No, stop. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Where are you going? Okay. It's rolling around the toilet bowl green. <laughs> this couple down there has their own little private beach just underneath this par three. That is gorgeous. And here is the green. Both Hannah and I are a little bit long back there. Mine landed up here to the left and ran just by the pin. Most people leave it short. You're going right uphill. Okay. the slowest putts on the course. Thank you. Go, go, go. Come on. No. Wow, that was super slow. Okay. All right, so. All I need here is a two putt. Take her down once again. Whoa! I thought I had it. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> so even with a hole that you couldn't make it happen, get <laughs> you. I really thought really thought this was my time to shine. Yeah. Then you ruined it. Thanks for that. Yeah. What an unbelievable golf course. Yep. If you ever get a chance to play, uh, go. Because we've been all over the world, play some unbelievable golf courses, but the views here and the quality of the golf too, it's not just pretty, but the condition on the golf course, the greens, everything is yeah. just perfect. And this is, I know it's a resort course, but it's not really a resort course no. in the way that you would think of it. So, But it's fair because the black tees are way back there and the member tees are further up. It's kind of wide off the tee, so everyone can kind of enjoy it. So it's a course for everyone. Yeah, I thought it was great. Great right. experience from every tee box. So if you guys get the chance to come out, you definitely should. And thank you for watching our video on Kivira Golf Club.